turn, Mrs. Evans. <laughs> morning, Luther. Ah, morning, George. Return Duddleswell, please. There you are. That'll be two pegs. Sorry to tell you the fares are going up again. Next week it'll cost you two and a half pounds. <laughs> Unless you take the cheap day, then I'll settle for triple artists. Hello, Mr. Fritton. Oh, hello, Beryl. <laughs> There's your ticket, my love. First class. Thank you. 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> the old man's playing a football match. Oh, uh. Back door open as usual. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Silkin. You'll be wanting your usual monthly season. Thank you, Luther. My latest. Especially for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. Oh, I shall treasure this. <laughs> I'll never forget it. What a lovely old cave. <laughs> but you should have seen me when I was younger. <laughs> Never mind, girls. One day she'll do you a ball. Here's the rest of today's order. <laughs> so your hobby's playing football tomorrow, then? Yes, he's hoping to score a couple of times. Ah, so am I. <laughs> from them since the last team train went through. Would you like to please our generous employers and do something of benefit to the railways and cop a bonus of five hundred pounds at the same time? Five hundred quid, not ah. half. So what we got to do then? Go out and blow up the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. Now listen. Our lords and masters have decided to offer a prize of five hundred pounds to the neatest, cleanest, tidiest, most attractive station on this section of the line. So what's that got to do with us? Well, I reckon we stand a good chance. <laughs> <laughs> you must be mad. There's only one station in it, and that's East Dilfort. Uh, and that fella Grigsby, he runs it like a guard step home. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Robinson, first class ticket holder, aren't you? I am, yes. Where's your carnation? I I forgot it. Fall out and join the end of the rank. You'll travel second class this morning. <laughs> Turn it up! Right, now pay attention. It is something I noticed that yesterday someone did it while the train was standing in the station. <laughs> Any more of that and I shall have the lids nailed down. <laughs> Two pieces forward. Arch. Open. Doors. Come you, doors. Mount. Doors. Wait for it. Wait for it. Doors. Shut. Reload. Hot. Guard. Two cannon feet. And pull! Right, I'm on, pinning, get pinning! Right, now I have received a communication from HQ informing me that they're holding a competition for the smartest station on this section. I don't need to tell you who's going to win it. You certainly don't, sir! <laughs> the prize is five, uh, 100 pounds. <laughs> you will receive your proper share. Less deductions for late on parade and dirty buttons. <laughs> right, fall out and back to bull. Oi. Coming on a treat, mate. Mm. Oh, where's Luther? He's inside with that artist lady. But I should be delighted, Luther. So kind of you to think of me. Ah, you'll be doing me a great favour, Miss Silkin. And in return, I'll see you're all right for a nice annual season ticket to wherever you want to go. <gasps> but how delightful! I'd better hurry along and get started. Uh, oh, uh, Miss Silkin. Yeah. Just one thing. No cues. <laughs> Not even one. Not even one. <laughs> Well, what do you think, eh? I, uh, I thought the posters was looking a bit scruffy, so I found some clean ones in the office. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Titanic, eh? My granddad was a sailor aboard her. Is that a fact? Ah. And when she got hit by that huge, big iceberg, he jumped off the ship onto the berg, because he knew that wouldn't sink. <laughs> and saved his life, eh? No, got eaten by a polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice, that is. That's very nice. The Queen's Jubilee celebrations. <laughs> There's only one thing wrong. What's that? Got a wrong Queen. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to cross the line, use the footbridge. <laughs> Isn't like it? Ah. Never mind, Luther. I'll finish that white line. Give us another couple of weeks and you won't recognise this station. That's the trouble, me old dear. We haven't got a couple of weeks. Why? When are the governors coming to look at it, then? Day after tomorrow. Oh, blimey. We might as well give up. We got no chance against East Dilfort. If I knew old Grigsby, that station's already as shiny as a naffy girl's backside. Uh, no doubt about it. <laughs> You don't seem to be very worried. I'm not. And I don't think you'll be when I tell you. 
I've had a word with my sister Bertha and them two little baskets of hers. <laughs> Come on, come on, man. Put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> You'll be here any time now for the inspection. Come on. <laughs> ah, coming up to the boil, are we, Miss Jackson? Yes, Mr. Grigsby. Good. They'll probably fancy a cup of tea after they've presented me with the prize. Ha, ha, ha. Halt! Stand down! Get those shoes off before you step on my platform. <laughs> so while you're about it, take them outside and give them a buff up. There you are! <laughs> Is that a clean shirt you're wearing? Don't dodge your head like that! I don't want dandruff all over my platform! <laughs> Abad! Have you polished that coal up like I told you? So! And don't forget, nobody's to use the toilet for the next half hour, understand? So! Right! <laughs> Awfully good notion of yours, sir, uh, to make an early start to the judging. Seeing things in the... in, in the rush hour, as it were. Well, Ben, I can't say I think much of what I've seen so far. Really, sir? Oh, uh, I, I thought one or two of the stations were quite good. I am not talking about the stations. I'm talking about the staff. They've forgotten how to grovel to their betters. Oh, oh you're absolutely right, sir. Uh, as usual. I, I quite agree, sir. That's better. That's the sort of thing I enjoy. <laughs> and, and I think your idea of us staying in the train so that we see the stations as though we were passengers is absolutely brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Yes, it is, isn't it? Saves us having to fraternise with the scum as well. <laughs> Oi, over here. <laughs> madam, madam, don't you dare drop that egg on my lovely clean platform. <laughs> oh, butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> you rotten little vandal, look what you've done to my wall. Look what you've done to my poster. Ow! <laughs> Stop that woman! Go on, stop her! Oh, uh, yes, uh, very good, Go sir. Go on! to suggest, sir, that this next station is an absolute credit to the line. In standards of cleanliness and discipline, it is second to none, sir. 
<laughs> yes, I've heard he's got a pretty good reputation. Oh, here we come now. <laughs> I really can't think what came over him. I'll tell you what it is. It's communism. The orders for that shambles probably came direct from the Kremlin. I want them all sacked, dismissed on the spot. I'll see to it straight away, Mr. Hunter. If I wasn't a kindly man, I'd close that blasted station and make them all walk. <laughs> all right, Burton, what's next? I have no great hopes for rotten end, I'm afraid, sir. Oh? Why not? <laughs> Excellent. Really first class. Who's in charge here? Uh, Fritten, sir. Luther Fritten. Well done, Fritten. Well done. Thank you kindly, sir. Beryl. Charming. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> well, I don't think there's very much doubt about that. <laughs> Fritten, I am delighted to tell you you have won 500 pounds in our little competition. Oh, I'm most obliged, sir. I never thought we stood a chance, sir. <laughs> Once again, my congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Carry on, guard. Carry on. Come on, lads. Let's get back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Miss Silkin, she's done us proud. Not another interruption. Ah, oh, morning, Master Shakespeare. Here I am again. Yes. <laughs> oh, good old it gone. I wish you control your dog. Dog, out, out, damn spot. <laughs> Whatever it is you're selling, I don't want any. Oh, but you haven't seen what I got yet. Look. Oh, yeah. What does that do? Well, you jams it in the door like that, and then you can't shut it. Oh. <laughs> Mind what you're doing, will you please? I'm working there. Oh. Oh. It's another th one of your bits of writing, is it? Actually, it's a play oh. about King Richard. Oh, wow. I remember you told me about that the last time I was here. Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about that, you know. Mm. I reckon you ought to change the title to Richard III. Well, what's wrong with the title I've got? Well, I mean, who ever heard of a play called Richard the 111th? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy for you, boy. Yes, 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 yes Look, yes. the way you churn them out, I bet you get through a few of these. Yes, yes, I could do with a new one. I'll, I'll take that. No, 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 no. That's a sample. No, that's a sample. Hang on a minute. There you are. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, ink. Hmm? Could you do with some ink? Because I've got an octopus in there. Uh, no, 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 if you'll just put this on my account, I'll bid you good day. I must get on with my play. Ah. How's it going, then? Well, fairly well, fairly well. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Well, far be it from me, an humble travelling salesman, to criticise the great William Shakespeare. No, 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 you say what you feel. I, I welcome your opinion. Well, I would have thought you'd have written something like... Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong with what I've got? Well, I just think it flows better than ruddy cold, I says to Yorkie, think I'll have a week in talking. <laughs> yes, I was a little bit worried about that at the time. Huh? <laughs> Look, perhaps you could help me with another little thing that I'm doing. I've, I've got a synopsis here. See what you think of that? Hmm? Oh, it's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, it's so I, I, dull, I... isn't it? 
I, I thought it was quite a good story. Yeah, but as I said, it's so dull, though, isn't it? I mean, you take your main character, Othello. Yeah. I mean, does he have to be a bookies runner? <laughs> It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yes, but I mean, you, you, you've got to think of the box office, haven't you? You know, yeah. try something different. I know. Why don't you make this Othello chap coloured? What do you mean, like green? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless he's been seasick. <laughs> no, I meant black. Black? Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, and, and, and use a bit of sex. You know, the modern mm. audiences love a bit of sex. No, 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 I've got sex in it, you see. Oh. Othello's wife. Oh, Nelly Longbottom. Yes. <laughs> He's been married to her for 27 years and got 11 kids. <laughs> don't exactly make the pulses race, do it? <laughs> I mean, why don't you make her a big, gorgeous blonde and give her a sexy name like Desdemona? Desdemona? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> uh, here, while we're on the subject of crumpet, mm -hmm. I've got this for your good lady. Uh, Anne Hathaway? Yes, I know she has. <laughs> <laughs> here. What the devil's that? <laughs> what the devil is it? Well, I would have thought it was obvious. Earmuffs. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I really haven't got the time. I'm under enormous pressure. I've, I've got to come up with another big success. Well, you won't have any flops with these. <laughs> I'm beginning to find this whole business a terrible strain. I, I think I might just give up writing altogether. Oh, you can't do that. I will, you know, I you will. You can't do that. Not after that offer you had last week from ye old Beano. <laughs> <laughs> come on now. Here, what about that play you wrote about Julius Caesar? Now, I like that. Did you? Ah. I wrote another scene yesterday. Oh? Yeah, yeah, perhaps, you'd, uh, perhaps you'd care to have a look at that. See what you think. Mm. Mm. Well, you don't like it, do you? Go on, what's the matter with it this time? Don't get upset, like. I'm not upset! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you are, you know, but I mean, listen, l listen to this. I think you should have written something like, uh, Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to prize him. You don't like anything I write, do you? No, it isn't that. It's not that, will he? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's, it's just that this lacks that indefinable magic, that's all. I mean, look, I'll read it to you. Listen, you lot, you better plant Caesar before he goes off. <laughs> So get shoveling. <laughs> I mean, it don't even rhyme. Nor does yours. Well, that's blank verse. It'll never catch on. Well, I'm only trying to help. <laughs> Still trying to think of a title for that play you wrote about Prince of Denmark. You, uh... You've got any ideas on that? Well... As I was coming through the Hamlet this morning... Mm. I was so wrapped in thought, I tripped over this piglet. That's it. What a marvellous title for the play. Hamlet? No, no, piglet. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. No, 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 no. Don't you bother at all. You, you, just, you just go away and you leave me alone. Ah, no, 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 not till I show you the latest. Look, imported by Sir Walter Raleigh. Look at it. I'll show you. Look at that. What? A pipe. Oh, yeah. Fascinating. What's yeah. that supposed to do? Well, you fill it there with this stuff here, yeah. see, like that. Then you set it on fire, then you smoke it. I see. And what's this stuff called? A potato. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of anything so ridiculous in all my life. All Go right, on, off you. All right, all right. How about a candle with no wick? <laughs> Save your fuel bill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How about the latest song sheet of the sonnet? Sonnet? Sonnet chanted evening. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going, all right. Oh, oh look at the time. It's X minutes past V11. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, any time you want any tips, don't forget, let me know. Yes, I'm right. I'm right. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, come back. Will you? There is, there is something you might like to think about. I've, uh, well, I've got this big battle scene right at the end, you see. Now, now, King Richard is all alone, sword in hand. And he's desperate for help. The trouble is, I, I can't think of what to write next. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll have a think about it while I'm walking about. All good right? Man. Good man. My goodness me, you know, I've got a long way to go. My feet are killing me. 
A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, uh... Bacon, Francis Bacon. <laughs> Mr. Capone lives next door. <laughs> the roof of today. Can I squeeze in? Certainly. Mm. Room for a little one, is there? <laughs> 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 all right, all aboard. <laughs> Take it away, Charlie. Right. Boop. Kiddly dump. Kiddly dee. Kiddly dump. Those are the days. Pardon? Steam. Kings of the Iron Road. Comparing diesel to steam is like comparing Twiggy to Mate West. <laughs> really? Yeah, I do them all, you know. Shunting. Yeah. Ba ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Very good. Very good. You close your eyes, you're there. Yeah, now look. Train going over points, all right? Kiddly dee, kiddly da, diddly dee, kiddly da, kiddly da, diddly 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 diddly. Go on, close your eyes. We have train going under a bridge at sixty miles an hour, right? Kiddly dee, kiddly da, kiddly dee, kiddly da, kiddly dee, kiddly. Ah! It's good, isn't it, eh? Here, remember this one. Fair please! Ching! On a train? Well, now we're being silly, aren't we? <laughs> Bus conductor. You know, separate tickets in the older, ticket in the in the machine, you know, in the clipper. Ching! Ah, uh, yes, a bit before my time. Ha <laughs> ha, Lee Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Put that light out! <laughs> this is Fump speaking. <laughs> Charmony calling. Charmony calling. Hey, hey, hey. Then there was old Nasty himself. Kiss out! Kiss off, Fifi! He did and couldn't and pass and didn't! Crash you! Kiss out of Julius Miller! I swear I've had telephone! A German station announcer. <laughs> That's very good. They broke the mold when they made you, didn't they, eh? <laughs> old Man River. <laughs> that old man river, he must know something. But don't say nothing, he just keeps rolling, he just keeps rolling along. Paul Robson, showboat. Ah. <laughs> you like transport, don't you? Oh, do them all, do them all. A handbag. I'm uh, sorry, I, I, I... I'll do it again for you. A handbag. <laughs> Lady Cracknell, importance of being earnest. Oscar Wilde. He may have been a bit of a Jesse, but he could write like a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilde. Lighthouse. Oh. <laughs> Here's a good one. I've had a terrible cold lately. A <laughs> <laughs> big old pound, uh... I really must be going. What train? Doncaster. Late. Points blew up at Peterborough. <laughs> Hit! 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 
Pump, yeah, pump, pump, pump. <laughs> Fill it with two spoons, though. Needs must when the devil drives. <laughs> of course. morning. We are not amused by the decline in the manners and courtesy of our subjects. Their conduct is most unseemly. <laughs> that is exactly what we are referring to. How dare you rise before your sovereign gives you leave to do so. Be seated, sir. You are stark raving mad. You should be locked up. Sit down. <laughs> we are about to board our train and would command you to show due deference as we do so. Be allowed out. He... <laughs> Who are you? I'm the station master. <laughs> what was all that then? That was my tea break. Come on, come on, man. Put some elbows easy. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Oh, Miss Shelkin. Yes? You tripped over the wire. <laughs> <laughs> Two, seven, one, take one. Stand by at the back there, John. Action, Dick. Good old Miss Shelkin. She's done us proud. <laughs> right you are, Bob. I reckon you should change the title to Richard III. What's wrong with the title I got? Well, who's ever heard of a play called Richard XI? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Right. Yeah. No, 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 that's a sample, that's a sample. Hang on, I'll get you one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find a bloody feather. <laughs> 